Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another awesome guest star with me. Yeah! This is Katora, my sister-in-law who you guys have seen in other videos and you just saw her deliver her beautiful baby boy Ezra who we also have right here. Um, today we're gonna be just like cooking and chatting and hanging out. I actually asked on Instagram if we should do like a chatty, I didn't tell you this, but oh. I asked on Instagram if we should do like a chatty video or if we should do like a Q&A and answer questions and so some people submitted questions for us to answer. Okay. We're just gonna make dinner and chat and answer questions and hang out. First before we jump in though, I do have to mention today's video is a partnership with HelloFresh. We have several different options here so we'll be picking one of those and then we'll be cooking a HelloFresh meal and talking through it a little bit as we chat with you guys. If you haven't heard of HelloFresh, it's amazing because it's a meal kit delivery service that will deliver all of the ingredients and step-by-step -step instructions and all of that that you need to make meals at home. So it's actually really good for somebody like her who just had a baby and has not been cooking at home very much. I know I haven't been cooking at home very much and this makes it easy for us yeah, to cook feed here. Everybody. Yeah, feed everybody a ton of food and do it really easily and not be feeling like we have to eat out at a restaurant to have like a good home cooked meal. So I'll walk you through it and show you the options that we have. But if you're interested in checking out HelloFresh, I have a link down below in the description box as well as a code that I'll put right here um, that will save you $90 off your first month with them. So you get nine meals for free basically. So be sure to check it out. All the information in the description box and without further ado, let's get into the cooking. So the options we have here, we have Lone Star Poblano Mac and Cheese, which is very appropriate for Texas. Yeah. Veggie Chiles. Chili Ranch? Don't know how to pronounce that one. And something else. That's our crusted grilling cheese. And this is roasted veggies over couscous. And then each card, you get like a photo of the meal, and then on the back, there's the ingredients for cooking it too. So what That's sounds funny. What sounds good to you? Um, we can do the mac and cheese. The boys would like that. Mac and cheese? Done. I'm down for some mac and cheese. Mac and cheese says it has five minute prep time. Five minutes for prep time. Done. Done. Okay. <laughs> Want to take a screen or a still with me? Sure. Just smile. Oh, like with the phone? No, like we're just going to pause and then I'll take a health screenshot it. Pause. <laughs> I'm so awkward. So all right, easy. so this is the mac and cheese. I'll put these back in there. Just gonna lay all the ingredients out over here. Okay, so we have our oh, am I making too much noise for him? No, he's just, it's almost time for him to wake up. So, okay, starting with like the chatty Q&A. I don't know if anyone submitted this question yet, but I know we're going to get it. So when I uploaded the labor vlog, so many people asked how we're sisters. <laughs> like, so I uploaded her labor vlog and I titled it My Sister's Delivery. I've talked about it in so many videos, like it's not new to my channel, but I guess if people are new to my channel, maybe they don't know. They don't understand. They, they don't, don't understand. Really. So. Just to give some background with how we're related, we are sisters in law. Yeah. But like we just say sisters because at this point, at this point, we've known each other for a decade and are each other's legitimate sisters. Yeah, like she's more of a sister than anybody else I've ever had, obviously. And <laughs> he's like, I really think I'm bothering him. No, it's time for him to wake up. But yeah, so our husbands are married. Our brothers. <laughs> We're married to the husbands. <laughs> our, oh my gosh, my brain. Our husbands are brothers. <laughs> we are married to the brothers. So like, we both have the same last name. We're both Zappos, our brothers. I cannot say this. Our husbands are brothers. Our hus husbands are brothers and they are two years apart. We do a lot of things together. So we do a lot of things together and we have also been with them for decades. <laughs> like, yeah, it's going on 15 years in June for us. 15 years for them. Jordan and I are coming up on 12 yeah. in March. So we've got a lot of history between, like and when we lived in Ohio, the four of us were always like this close knit group. 
And so ever since we moved, we vacation to see each other and we travel to see each other and we're still in each other. Alternate other's. Christmases. Yeah, alternate Christmases. Like they're Christian's godparents. We're Ezra's godparents. Like we are all super, super close still. But so if you ever hear me refer to my sister, I'm referring to her. Even though, yes, I am an only child. Like people get confused because I say I'm an only child and then I call you my sister and, and they, like, Wait, they think I'm happen? a liar. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not lying. It's just different. Okay, and then so we talked about how long we've known each other. We actually went to high school together and so we met when I was a junior in high school when I transferred to the school that they all went to so I was like 17 or something so I don't know how long that was like three years ago basically <laughs> no yeah, it definitely looks like three years for me we've known at least as long as Jordan and I have been dating yeah so at least 12, at least 12 years, years or so um, that's crazy and then people were also asking if we've always been best friends or like if we were friends before the brother started before the I was gonna say before the brothers started dating if we were friends before we started dating the brothers or if we started dating them and then became friends we started dating them we were like frenemies yeah I'd say we were frenemies like we not very nice in high school no you were not very nice in high school we're and I think like we knew each other because we went to the same school. Yeah. But and like we would talk. Yeah. And be like friends. But yeah, I think frenemies is a yeah. good term. I still I don't think like we actually we definitely didn't get to know each other until Jordan and I started dating and then we all started hanging out. Yeah. But it didn't take long for us to click. No. Once I wasn't being me. <laughs> Once I don't do good with new people. She is the type of person that like, okay, so I always, I think there's two types of people in the world. You're either the type where when you meet somebody new, you like everybody right off the bat and like they have to give you a reason not to like them. Or you're the type of person where you don't like people right away and you have to warm up to them and they have to give you a reason to like them. Yep. And you're that way. Yep. I feel like I generally like everybody. No, I need a reason. KK needs to like get to know you, needs a reason to like you. And so when I started dating Jordan, and I think you realized like I'd be around for a little yeah. while and like you and I got to know each other, we realized <coughs> we realized we actually had a lot in common once we started. Yeah. <coughs> These dogs. There's there's five dogs here, so there are five dogs, two children, and four adults under this roof right now. Under our two bedroom, two bathroom bungalow. <laughs> this is the best part about Christmas though. It is, it is. We all smoosh into one space together and we make it work. And we love it. But yeah, once we started to get to know each other, we realized like we actually have a lot in common yeah. and we clicked. And so we've been best friends for like a decade. At this point. Plus. Yeah. Once now. we clicked, it was like, it was instant. Yeah. But for me, I think too, it's just kind of part of my upbringing just like I was raised not to trust or even like need to talk to people so yeah it takes me a minute to like I'm way too trusting there. I'll take Christian to the park and come home and I'm like oh my gosh I met this person that told me blah 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 and like I talked with them for 30 minutes and everybody's like Olivia you have too much time on your hands yeah. well not anymore but back when I was on maternity leave that's yeah what it was like <laughs> and for me I could just not I could be in the room with someone and we don't even have to conversate <laughs> It's kind of like bad. It's not bad. It's just everybody's different. I actually, some of my closest friends are like that. Yeah. Where like some of my, clo most of my closest friends actually didn't like me when they first met me. And then now we're like super close. Do you think your children will be close like you guys are? Oh yeah. For sure. We're already trying to, I mean, we're hoping that by the time they like grow up and everything that, can I use this bowl? Yeah, that's right. Oh, thank you. We're hoping that by the time they're older that we live near each other and it's not an issue but even if we don't we're planning on like facetiming all the time we're getting that we've been talking about getting that facebook portal thing that so we can be like kim k and j lo we can hook it to the tv yeah hook it to the tv and see each other all the time so we're gonna make sure that they are really close growing up even if we're not close and distant and they're cousins so like our kids are cousins which is kind of cool not only are they our kids but they're cousins as well okay cook pasta I got the water boiling. All right, we've got our pasta, some ingredients, 
some topping here, more veggies to add in, and then the beginning of our sauce. And then people were asking how you're doing after the C-section. How's your recovery going? My, like, I don't want to sound like a jerk, but my recovery's been really great, actually. She's had a really good recovery. She was, like, such a trooper in the hospital. I know I said it in that video. I'm not exaggerating. Like, she just was so calm and, like, such a rock star and, like, took it in stride every step of the way. And then since you've been home, it sounds like it's been pretty smooth, too. Yeah, I think that, um... Oh, is that cavatappi? Let's let, let it, it cavatappi? Yeah, let's let it boil some more because they, they cook kind of hard. Okay. Yeah, I think that since I knew before I even got pregnant that I had to do a C-section, I was kind of like prepared mentally for it. But on the inside, when we were in that room, I was like, oh God, my life is about to be over. I don't know what's happening you right now. You did not seem like it at all. I was extremely freaked out. What's the bag thing that you had? The Oncu pump? Is that what it's called? Will you talk about that? Because I don't know anything about that, but it seems like it helped you a lot. Yeah, so I don't do well with um, pain medicine. Like, I can barely take an Advil without feeling like I'm high as a kite. <laughs> so, my doctor is into this new thing called an Oncu pump, and pretty much they put the same medicine that they put in my spinal tap in this pump that was like the size of a grapefruit, and it auto went into the same spot so that like my stomach wasn't i had no pain there it was just numb she carried it around like in a little fanny pack for yeah a week, right okay. yeah it was like six days and then it just if i needed more i could turn it up if i needed less i turn it down and then i was up and moving later that night yeah she she did really great and like and i mean even now like she's had she had a baby today's the 22nd she had a baby 11 days ago yeah. and like she looks like this and she's up like cooking and standing and when I felt like when I was in re like postpartum recovery it was like painful to do some of these things and you're just being such a trooper. I think if I didn't have that pump it would have been a whole different situation. Yeah. Because I don't do well on pain medicine like I every kind I have I usually throw up but or I'm allergic to and I find out after I take it but if I didn't have that pump it would have been Dunzo. Dunzo. When you move to the same city, where will it be? Probably California. <laughs> Before you guys move to Texas, I think we would end up moving there. I think so too. John, I hope so. John I calls so. y'all's visit annual convince John, Jordan and Liv to move to Texas. Oh my visit. gosh. <laughs> and I'm like, they're not leaving California and I don't want to stay here. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan has no interest in leaving California. I think I could be swayed easier. Yeah. I love where we live, but I'm now that we have one and a half children I'm like really missing and prioritizing family and so I would live somewhere I don't want to live as much for family yeah but Jordan would not <laughs> Jordan is like we can do visits and, and he loves California so much he like has no interest in leaving but we are always trying to get the two of them to move out near us like yeah. I would love that I've been down forever she, yeah she's always tried we'll just keep trying at least by the time they're school age. Yeah, that would be, nice. that would be really nice. How are your parenting styles the same and how are they different? Or how will they be? Oh, I don't know. I haven't figured out my You're parenting. You're so fresh into it. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know. know my parenting style. <laughs> I think that I, like if it's, I'll probably be really soft. <clears throat> Which is funny because with your dogs, you're like the disciplinarian. Yeah. Like you're okay being super stern with your dogs, but I think I waited so long for him, I don't want him to ever be mad at me. <laughs> I have a hard time being the disciplinarian for sure. Unless I get pissed off. My neck feels like spicy. I feel like I rubbed something spicy on my neck. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> that sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> Do you need some ice? No, I think I'm okay. I think it's the pepper. Oh. Okay. I think I like touched the pepper and then touched my neck and now it feels spicy. <laughs> Maybe, maybe I shouldn't use the word spicy. Yeah, maybe it's tingly. <laughs> yeah, I think that feels better. It feels okay. tingly, not spicy. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know how to help. I don't know if your skin should feel spicy. No. But, okay, yeah, so I don't know if we, I don't think either one of us is that far into it to know our parenting mm -hmm. styles yet. But I will say, I think our pregnancy and labor and postpartum 
like journeys have been totally opposite. Mm -hmm. I actually was thinking while I'm here, it'd be cool to do a video on it with you. Oh yeah. Where we yeah. like sit down and talk about it because I feel like in motherhood, there's so much like, I don't know. There's like so many moms think you have to do exactly the same thing every Across, single yeah. time. You know, like they think so many moms think that like there's one right way of doing a feeding. There's one right way of swaddling, one right way of napping one right way of doing like X, Y, Z. And that's so not the case. It's mm -hmm. so different for everybody. And so for her and I, like, I feel like I have pretty smooth pregnancies in general, but like you had a rough pregnancy. I did. And then like, I had a rough labor, but like you had a pretty smooth labor. And, I didn't like, even go on the labor. And like a smooth postpartum. And like, yeah. I felt like postpartum was really difficult. And so like, I don't know, I think, and, and then our, like breastfeeding and feeding journeys have been different. Yeah. So if you guys have followed here for a while, I breastfed Christian until he was 15 and a half months old until I got pregnant again. And um, you are like breastfeeding him, but she's exclusively pumping. And so it's like they had their own little set of challenges, I guess, in the hospital and figured out what that looked like and everything. So like, I think too, like with your postpartum, I should not have left so soon. I left Yeah, too that soon. was really hard. I left way too soon. But I left you the same quickness. You know? Yeah, but you were like, you need, like, I could get up and move around. You were still yeah. trying to get your feet under you. And Jordan had to go back to work. And Jordan had to go back to work, and I should have, I should have extended my trip. Just come for like a month next time. I know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like that would be cool for us to like sit down and talk about like, our pregnancies and labor and postpartum and how they've differed and like how that's okay and you can be best friends with totally different experiences yeah, and they make it wrong yeah and they're both beautiful and meaningful even if they're not the same I feel like that's really important I think so too I mean and we've already we've shared everything else like even our journeys to getting pregnant were totally right different. totally someone asked how is new mom life for you I love new mom life it can be kind of tiring. Kind of tiring? I feel like you're in that stage of like, in the first few weeks, it's like so blissful. You know, like you, it, I mean, it's all blissful, but like in the beginning, especially when he's finally here, and like you said, you waited so long to get him, and you like, you don't mind getting up a million times in the night mm -hmm. and feeding him a million times a day or anything because it's like, it's also new and like exciting. I think for me too, it's just like in my head, it's, it's what has to be done. So right, and I think too, like I'm the kind of like I wouldn't say I'm militant, but I'm pretty like I'm militant. <laughs> I don't. What's the word? Yeah, diligent. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm pretty like structured. Yeah. And if I know something has to be done at a certain time and it needs, there's no other way around it, then I'm just. You actually like thrive on structure. Yeah. So I feel like for a lot of new moms that that's the hard part is like feeding every two hours, getting up every two hours, like, like diaper, feed, nap, repeat, diaper, feed, nap, yeah. repeat. And like for you, uh, that's like, that's like what you would, if you weren't doing that, you would be, I would doing, doing something else structured. Right. Totally. Did you set up Kay and your brother? Oh, they, because they don't get the They connection. think John is my, my brother. Okay. No. Well, John's no. Jordan's brother, and Jordan <laughs> set us up. Yeah. John, yeah. Her husband, John, is Jordan's brother. But it's, it's, I get why it's confusing, because I also do refer to John as my brother. Yeah. Because he feels like my brother. Yeah, I mean, at, we've been we've all been together for so long. Yeah. It's just what feels right. We've all been together. That's the perfect way of explaining it. <laughs> We're just in this really big cumulative family relationship yeah. it feels like. No, we're not a cult. Or yeah, anything. not like incestual. Is yeah. that the word? Incestual. We're not a cult. Um, we're not, yeah. We're not like shit, like multiple wives things no. here. We're just, we're the four friends. of us are just all really close. Yeah. Just to clarify, we, there's one wife per family. Yeah. I mean, not that there's anything wrong if you want to have more than one wife. Definitely. Family. I'm fascinated by the culture, but that's just not what we're doing. <laughs> we don't do that over here. But teach their own. But yeah, if you want to, <laughs> we support that. Yeah. Um, hey, Bubba. Hi. We have another guest star now. Bubba, can you say hi? Say hi can, to the camera. Can you say hi, Bubba? Can you say bye? Yeah. Leo, we're making dinner. You're going to like it. Ezra, look, you see the baby? 
That's your little cousin, Christian. Can you see see Ezra? All right, babe, do you mind taking him while I pour some of this that funny stuff together? Yep. Okay guys, so that's everything for this cook with me video. Christian is obsessed with this mac and cheese. Hot. Is it hot or is it, you're still eating it? It doesn't look too hot. But yeah, Christian like loves this. So um, that's it for our like Q&A chatty cook with me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We will be filming another one. Mm. <laughs> we decided we are going to film another one while I'm here. So yeah. we'll sit down, sit down. We'll sit Sit on down. <laughs> we'll sit down and film that and get that out to you guys too. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for doing this with me. Yeah, it was fun. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.